Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I organize my After Effects projects. So here I have my project open, just this example project, and I have this is my project window, and I have all this stuff in here. So I have this um, uh, composition, I have some music, uh, some images, uh, another composition, some artwork layers from Illustrator, all of this stuff. And it's really important when you work in a project like this to keep it organized. For instance, when you want to um, have somebody else work on it or you need to open this like maybe a year later, you need to know what's up and need to know what's happening. So we can do that by creating folders here in After Effects. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here and I'm gonna type in a name for it. And what I always like to do is to give them numbers. So uh, zero, one point space and then let's call this render comps so the, these are the comps that i'm going to render out later so my final compositions and in this case here i have one render comp is this one after effects organization i called it the artwork comp is just this uh, these different artwork stuff so this one i'm going to um, place in this folder here so now i can open it up and i have this folder and then i'm going to do that again click uh, and the, the second one let's call it o2 comps and these are just my normal other pre-compositions so i have this artwork comp here and these big circles which are these uh, things middle circles these things together all of these comps i'm all, all going to place them into my comps folder like that going back to this one and then i have some music here and i have some photos of um, cute adorable little puppies there you go so um, I always create a separate folder for those as well so let's call this one 03 audio and let's put these songs in them and you can even go further and make a subfolder in here and call uh, maybe if you have some sound effects too as well so make a folder for music and then put those in there and if you have some sound effects make a new folder called sfx for example and put those in there like that then we have our uh, artwork layers here as well so i've imported some stuff from illustrator and those are artwork so they so they import a composition with my artwork in it and they import like this folder with all this separate uh, um, illustrator layers so i'm going to place that in an um folder as well you can always also drag this onto the folder icon and it creates a new folder with that one in it and it's called gonna no oh four artwork artwork like that and then I have these, and if, if I import more stuff from Illustrator, I can put them all in this folder here. And then I have these photos, and I'm going to place them into the folder called 05 Assets. And then we have this Solids folder, because I've created what's in my composition here. I have this artwork stuff, this Illustrator files, these two comps, and I have these three solids that I created by going to Layer, New, Solid. Just these background shapes. And they um, always get um combined into one uh main folder which is called solids and i can change the name so let's call this let's put a 06 uh, before and if i press enter then it asks are you sure you want to change the the folder name uh, yes use solids solid 06 point solids click so now uh, if i create a new layer uh, in here and layer new solid uh yeah, let's make it a color here like this and then press ok and then it's automatically into here you go medium gray solid into this folder placed into there i'm going to delete it here and if you delete it if you delete a folder um no if you delete a solid in here or also if i go create a new null object null object just this em empty uh, thing which i can use to control stuff it's also in here and it's also in this folder the null one and i delete it if i delete the null one and it's still in here it still keeps the the, the null one in this solid um, so if you want to so let's say i have this uh, null and i have this this solid and if i also delete the the say the pink one here um then i have these unused stuff in this project file here so when i'm kind of done with my project i like to go to file dependencies and then reduce project or remove unused footage so let's click on that one and then it says, hey, 16 footage or folder items were removed. Okay, so you can see that it cuts down a whole lot of stuff. So uh, a couple, so the, the music is uh, deleted and those solids that I don't use, only these two are in there because the, the music wasn't used in any of these compositions. So I, I did never put a song in here. So it says, hey, you imported these songs, these files, but you don't use them actually, so I'm going to delete them. So it kind of reduces your file size of your composition. Um, 
So what I also always do, I'm gonna um, put that back like that. So I have audio, artwork, assets, and solids. And if I then go to file, uh, no, sorry, After Effects here, preferences, and then new project, click. It opens it up and then I can create a new project loads template. So if I click on that and I can open a template folder, what, um, which I created. So I'm going to uh, cancel this and I'm going to save as. So if I create my folders in here, that which I would like to use for every um, project, I'm going to file, save as, and then call this after effects template. I hit OK, save. So now it's this one. I'm going to After Effects Preferences again and to New Project. And I'm going to click on this icon here. And then it's going to go to AE.template. Uh, open it up. So now every time I create a new uh, project, hit OK, it's going to create this folder structure for me automatically. So go to File, New Project, and you can see, boom, there you go. And it also took all of this stuff with it. So it's... See, it, it, um, Whatever you create a new project, it remembers that you want all of this artwork in it. So what I recommend is to create a new project and just delete, delete this composition, delete these comps, just delete everything that's in here. Um, just delete all the stuff that's in, artwork layers gone, assets gone as well, and the solids gone as well. So now I have just an empty project with only these folders and I can also kind of maybe if you always create compositions let's go create a new composition I'm going to create a 4k 25 frames per second for one is 10 seconds long hit OK put that and call this 4k and put that in my render comps here and maybe I also uh, would like a, a new composition which is 19 by 20 times 1080 uh, same here call this oop, 1080p and then put that in that render comp as well and if I save this so save uh, save as and I'm going to re overwrite this template folder here a file here so replace and if I open a new uh, new project don't save then boom all of these folders in here with these comps as well. So every time from now on, if you create a new project, everything is ordered and um, organized in the same way as you would you know, like it. And if you can, ch you can change it, of course, if you just open up the template file. So if I open up the template, this one, don't save. And let's say I create a new composition in here. Let's call this square 1080 by 1080. Okay, hit save, command S file new project and then boom it's already in there because i updated the template file so that's it that's an easy way to organize your project window here in after effects i highly recommend to keep your files organized because i've been working in the animation industry for years and i can tell you it's really helpful when you need to open a project down the line somewhere so that's it thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you on the next video thanks bye bye